only few niggas is still that found foundation, the full the fundamentals, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas start getting into a little, you know, expanding the growth, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's that's expected and that's cool. But when when you hear that that first level, that <clears throat> you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying, that where it started at, that shit that made you Wanted to get into it, you know what I'm saying? And you when, it, when it's authentic and organic, like a nigga talk that street shit, then you know he ain't making that up just to sound cool. You know what I'm Factory. saying? Factory. So what what like, is it yeah. that you heard back in the day? Like you explaining, what made you get Spoonie into G. it? Spoonie G. Spoonie G. Like, like, cause everybody was like, I'm from I'm from the old old school. Like niggas was, niggas was still doing that. A well ahead, ah, she walk with that. This nigga was telling direct stories, facts, cohesive stories, but they were street shit. Let's get this straight, there's no contest. So now you people know and don't have to guess. I'm not the king of rap, not lord, not prince. I was a young kid rapping, I've been rocking ever since. It was like so relatable, but he was like ahead of his time with that shit. And I was like, yo, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do that other shit. That other shit cool. And did you start out rapping or you started out producing? Or you I did started both? out rapping, of course. Nigga, I ain't, what the fuck I'm gonna produce what? I ain't have <laughs> no money for no samplers or no shit like that. Right. I'm a little ass kid. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that, like, certain shit just stand out. It's so refreshing when you hear it again at this, at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, that's, that's why I was telling you the other day. That's why I believe Brazil niggas is winning. Yeah, mm. definitely they, coming with some. They keeping it authentic, man. That's organic hip hop. That's not mm-hmm. this other, this other, this other shit. Call it what you want. It's pop. What was it that got you into music? <sighs> the main thing I could remember as a kid, the first song that really introduced me to hip hop was Ron DMC. I ain't even gonna lie. And he said, cool Jeep Rocker, throw Jeep Rocker, keep a bag of herb inside my locker. When I heard that, I was on the streets, I lived in Brooklyn. Cool Jeep Rocker, I don't drink fucker, but keep a bag of Jeep inside my locker. Whoa, I ain't gonna never forget what the little kid, I lived in Brooklyn. Roosevelt Housing, 997 building. He was poor. But it used that's, to be a that's dude. When, that's when shit was impactful. Right. Impactful. Like when niggas dropped back then, you know when you was when that right. shit first came on. Right. The time you heard it and all that shit. Like, then I don't, this shit now, I don't know. It was a dude named Kenny Boy. That nigga had the big see, boombox see, joint. See? He came through with the boombox and put that shit know. right there. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. That's what. It, Introduced me. That was the first. I was like, you know what? I need. I could do this too. As a kid, like I wanted a part of this. I was just some energy. Like I need some of that mm. in my life. 